Well, joining us now, Dr. Ngaze Azike, the director of the Illinois Department of Public Health. Thank you for joining us, doctor. Thank you so much for having me. Well, uh, Dr. Nzike, nearly two years later, many would have never thought we would be where we are now. Would you say our hospitals are at a crisis point worse than they were when the pandemic began? We absolutely are. The numbers of people with COVID alone are higher today than they have ever been in our two-year journey uh, through COVID. So we are seeing more patients than ever before, but with less staff because staff staff are sick, staff have gotten, have retired, staff have moved on because of the ongoing mental health trauma from this enduring uh, crisis. So it is a completely uh, worse situation than what we've dealt with uh, ever before. Well, doctor, the doctor in Chris Ty's story said they see the virus peaking in February. Do you see that? And have we hit herd immunity, which we heard early on about with so many people getting the virus now? You know, we've been saying that word and saying we're going to get there. And, uh, you know, my crystal ball is not working. I, I hope that the estimations are right, that we are weeks, you know, weeks away uh, from, from a crest. We, we sure need it because we are absolutely going to run out of beds in, in short order. And so we've, we, we hope that there's going to be some reprieve in sight. There's been, as you know, a lot of back and forth lately over whether kids are safe in school. One school of thought, they're safer in school than in the community. But some say schools are super spreaders. What's your take on this? You know, it, it would depend on uh, what school and what what mitigations are in place in school. If a school has all these staff, teachers, students masked as they're supposed to be and as the CDC recommends, that is a safe place. That is where you'll see the most masking. I know many schools that is the case and so it has been a safe place and we've seen that and even published research out of Illinois in terms of when people uh, may have COVID or were exposed, there wasn't a lot of transmission in school. But again, it, it counts on people being properly masked, everyone being masked in, in those settings, in those classrooms. So doctor, if there's one message that you would really want to stress to people tonight, what would it be? I think the message is the same but I want to put a spin on it. I know a lot of people, the majority of people in the state have been vaccinated over almost two thirds. But now I need those two thirds to try to talk and, and reach out to the people who are not vaccinated and share why you've been vaccinated. We need people to be vaccinated and boosted and we need people to be masked and, and we need to do this quickly or else we're gonna compromise the health of every individual in the state for COVID or non-COVID related matters. Okay. Dr. Ngazi Zike, thank you again for joining us and for your insight this evening.